Hey guys, it's Grubbs or one here with another episode of Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create, um, well, your cust a custom model for your mob. Simple as that, okay. So, what you're going to want to do is you want to open up Google Chrome, and you're going to want to download a program called Techni. Uh, it's about the fourth or fifth uh, link down, I'll leave a link in the description for it. So, you're going to click that, that link, and you want to hit download, okay? So you just download it. It'll run you, and um, you'll get a program that says uh, like technically it'll say technique set up or something like that. Just run that. It'll set up your technique for you, and then it should automatically launch and create a shortcut on your desktop and everything. Okay. So that's all. Just make sure you download this program, which I'll link in the description. Okay. And yeah. Okay. So let's get it then. So once you've actually downloaded that, I'm gonna open up technique. Uh, you want to open up technique itself, and it'll come up with something like this. Okay. So go on to make create a model name, so I'll call it, I don't know, model tut mob. Hit create. And then it's like that, okay. So you see down here it's got it shows you which side you're looking at, so that's the front, this is the left hand side of the mob, this is the back, that's the right, that's the bot that's the bottom, that's the top. I don't know why it's been labelled up and down though. Um, anyway, okay, yeah. So the way it way it technically works is you create little blocks of like little voxels, so you can hit create a cube here, so you hit that. And you see you've got it from this side here. Okay, so we can change the position of it, so we can send it down. Not too far down though. And if we actually just focus on it. Ring it up one more. You can't get it again. Can we actually get it? Oh, okay, that's a lost cause, I lost it. I'm just control Z it. Damn it! How can I grab you again? I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> uh, let's get it back. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was awkward. Okay, so I should be recording again. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, I am. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can change the dimensions as well, so we can make it like bigger, wide, width-wise, length-wise. We can change the height of it. Just gonna make it go further down. One, two, three, four, five. And you see, it's got like that. And basically, you can just edit and add more voxels. So you can say this could be like the body. Like we body. We can create. If we actually bring this up. And um, you also want to make sure you add this uh, rotation bit. So the, uh, the, the, uh, the rotation offset, wherever it is. So it's just offset. Okay. So basically, that's basically whereabouts the um, this thing here. Because that's, that's, that's the point it will rotate around. Okay. Um, one thing I've noticed is that there is a bit of a bug with it, and that bug is not the best because it makes it so that um, rather than moving the actual blue ball, it's going to move the actual mo uh, bit itself. So if we create the body, so you make sure you always have the rotation point, so we can like, move this up a bit. And we can create, I don't know, a foot. It's going to be a one-legged creature, okay. So if we actually focus on that. And we can bring it further down. I've changed the offset, not the actual whoops. Now we can change the position. So we can bring this down and we'll get create like um I mean, I want to focus on it. Focus. Okay. And we can like edit the dimensions of this and make it like so it's more like a foot. Yeah, it's, a, it's a thought, and we can change this rotation point. So we want, we'd want the rotation point about there-ish. Wouldn't we? And we can change that this to there. I don't know why we've got point five. Yeah, okay. And we can let them. Can let, we can copy that and change this to foot one. Foot one, and we could just completely copy copy that thing there. Now we have foot one again, but this is gonna be foot two now. And we could like edit this offset to the uh, offset to be all the way down. Okay, so we could change the position of this. So just double click on it. There we are focused. And we could like bring it up. After we've changed the, offset, uh, the actual offset of this as well. 
so it's more centered. There we are. We can bring this up. That way a bit. And we probably want to edit this so it's like one more wide. Like so. I guess. Actually, we might use this because I, I did actually have one I downloaded. But yeah. Yeah, we'll use this. It's a very basic one, okay? So this is going to be a basic, uh, basic uh, like model we're making, okay? So we could actually, um, then what you want to do, you see up here we've got the texture, we want to change this offset of the uh, body, so we'll keep the body where it is. And then we could probably like change the offset of the leg so it's a bit further down, so that's our left leg. And then we could have our... Where's the other foot? Then we could have our right leg. So this is left in it. I'm moving now. Yeah. Okay, so the other way, opposite way around. But nonetheless, like I say, so you, so you edit the, uh, the offset of the textures. Because if they actually overlap, then when you're um, creating the texture for it later, it's going to be a bit weird. Because you'll have them overlapping and the texture won't look right. And you won't know where everything is. So what you want to do, you want to kind of like... The way I do it anyway, is we kind of want to move them to like the location where um, it might be on the body. So you kind of like place the body in sections. So like there's our body. There's our right leg, there's our left leg. And like so, apart from we probably switch them around, okay. But anyway, that's it I guess. So what we what once you've created your model, so this we'll use this. You want to hit file. And you want to press press export as and then texture map. Okay? And we can save it in our area. So I'll save it in uh, in our MCP folder. So I'm gonna go to documents, programming, MCPs. New tutorials, source, main, Java, assets, TM, textures, entity. I'm going to de delete that one we had earlier. And I'm going to call this tut mob 2 because we've already got a tut mob there. Let's save that. Okay. I want to do the same thing. I'm going to hit press export as Java this time though. And we're going to have this placed inside of our source now. So com.thegrowsproject. Uh, inside of mm, a new folder which we'll create called model and then we'll call this model tut mob hit save okay and that is it okay so now if we actually go into um, our eclipse folder You'll see we'll have created a new model there, okay? We'll come back to this later, we're going to create the texture first for it. Okay, so if we go to wherever we saved our texture, which was in our MCP folder. So documents, programming, uh, MCPs, new tutorials, source, main, Java, assets, TM, textures, entity. And then we've got our top mobs, we're going to right click on it. Open with Photoshop or Pit.net or whatever you have. I want to edit this to our heart's desire. Okay, so this is our front, this is our back, it's been labelled nicely for us. Kind of. So you can see it on here, it's just front and back. So you can automatically assume. So we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll have a green mob like Mike Krasowski, like off Monsters Inc. Okay. So we'll make this green. We're going to have like a little alien. That's what we're going to create. And then we'll make like a little box with a dot. Okay. So we'll make the rest of his body green. And we'll probably give him like little shoes or something. Yeah, I'll give him some shoes. So this, we'll turn all this black for the bottom of his shoes. He's a very sophisticated monster, let's leave it at that. And then his little shoes there. Got very stubby legs, so he doesn't need big shoes. Okay. So we'll just save this. Hit OK. Okay, now we can go back to our Eclipse. And what we're going to do is we're going to open that, that model that uh, we saved in here. So in com.thegrowthproject.model. And now we need to edit this. So we're going to change the package location to our one. We're going to change the name of this. And you press Control Shift down. And I'm going to change this to net.minecraft.nc. And yeah, that is it. Okay. So what we need to do now, we need to edit a few things in here. See, we'll still have errors. Like down here at the bottom. So what we need to do, we'll add another comma here. Entity, entity. 
Save it, and we'll add. And see on the end of here. And then we'll add comma and sit on the end of there, because it's already there. And that's all you need to do to your model folder. Okay. What we need to do now is we need to go to our client proxy. And you see here, when last episode I showed you how to add another model, uh, we used to do here. So we need to go model um, tut mob. Control shift down. Save it. Okay. Open up our render class, render tut mob. And we're just going to change the text location, which we're just going to add two on the end of this, because that's what we did. And that is it. Okay. So if we run the client, it will launch up eventually. Single player, open up that. Let me see if it's just. Yeah. Like back. And you see, if we actually spawn this mob, he won't be animated yet because we haven't made him animated, but he will look like this little dude here. Hey, dude. Got some coal. Look, I got some coal. Nice coal. Yeah. Nice, oh, so cute. Die. Okay. So what we want to do now is we actually might want to animate this mob, okay? So I only made him very, very small, but you can make him as big as you want, okay? Some people make some really crazy things on the micro forum. Big followers, okay. But we are not done yet. Actually, no, we'll say that for another episode because, yeah, it's just so we can split it up easily so people can understand more. Okay, this has been the Ghost Project 1. Thanks for watching. This has been how to add a custom model to your mob. Next episode, okay, this is what I was about to do then, but I'll just split it up. Um, is next episode we're going to create, uh, make our mob animated a bit more. When I say animated a bit more, I mean I'm just going to make his legs move. <laughs> Very simple, isn't it? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, guys. It's been the Growth Project 101. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Modern with Microforge. Bye!